the DC Universe is expanding with every single movie. This year we will witness Wonder Woman and the union of the heroes in DC's Justice League. Talk. But an end is not in sight yet, as Suicide Squad director David Ayer already announced to be developing a spin-off to his film. Y'all jokers must be crazy. I'm not just one of y'all many toys. What? Which awaits us with Gotham City Sirens? Who or what are the Gotham City Sirens? The Gotham City Sirens is a union between three extremely dangerous women who all, as the title suggests, reside in Gotham City. Together they form a pact to look out after one another and to fight side by side. Who belongs to the Sirens? Catwoman. Selina Kyle is the main character of the comic series. Meow. After battling the sinister hush and nearly dying in the process, she is still weak. Soon though she finds unexpected allies in the battle against injustice. Which is why the cat soon finds herself torn between her feelings for the Batman and her new friends. Does this mean we have to start fighting? Let's go outside. Poison Ivy. Dr. Pamela Lillian Isley is one of the most iconic comic book villains of all time and was always displeased with society's treatment of the plant life. The same plants and flowers that saw you crawl from the primordial soup will reclaim this planet and there will be no one to protect you. After assisting Mark Legrand in stealing an Egyptian artifact that carried legendary herbs, Legrand attempted to kill her with said herbs. Pamela survived the attempt on her life and soon realized that she had become immune against all natural toxins and diseases. From this point on, she dedicated her life even more to the plant world, became an ecological terrorist and one of Batman's most deadly villains. Within the Sirens, she is very often the most trusted one that the other members of the group can rely on. Harley Quinn. We were already introduced to Dr. Harleen Quinzel in last year's Suicide Squad. The former therapist of the Joker was first tortured and then driven into insanity by her former patient. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. As Harley Quinn, she became the lover of the clown and assisted him in assassinating Jason Todd, aka Robin, before she was apprehended by Batman. In prison, she became a member of the Suicide Squad. We're bad guys. It's what we do. But as we all saw, the Joker managed to break her out of her maximum security prison. Let's go home. Within the team, she is the most unstable one who is able to betray everyone for the Joker as she simply cannot stop loving him. The plot. The comic book chronologically takes place after the events of the Hush storyline, in which an old friend of Bruce Wayne became a supervillain who among other things cut out Selina Kyle's heart. In the ongoing story, the organ was planted back into her body and after recovering, she regularly fought crime on the streets of Gotham. During one of her night missions, Poison Ivy saved Selina Selina's life and brought her to her lair that she took over from the Riddler. Upon arrival, Selina also encountered Harley Quinn, who was living with Ivy. The two of them proposed to form a pact with Kyle under the condition that she would tell them the true identity of the Batman. However, even under the influence of a strong truth serum, Selina managed to keep that a secret. Since Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn assumed that she frankly did not know the identity, the sirens were formed. Together, the ladies took on the criminal underworld of Gotham City and did not even shy away from murder during their missions. I'm adaptable. Reappearing elements include Catwoman's feeling for the Dark Knight, Harley's occasional betrayal and the appearance of Talia al Ghul. The movie. In May 2016, it was announced that Suicide Squad character Harley Quinn would receive her own spin-off. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what they really said. David Ayer is set to once again helm the film after directing Suicide Squad. Apart from Margot Robbie, who will reprise Harley Quinn once again, no other cast members have officially been confirmed yet. But it is safe to assume that we will see new versions of both Poison Ivy and Catwoman in the film. We believe Christina Hendricks could make for an awesome Poison Ivy. Eliza Dushku, on the other hand, is someone that we'd like to see as Catwoman. The villain. The villain of the film was also hinted at. And it seems like the sirens will go up against Black Mask. 
Roman Sionis grew up in Gotham City as the son of wealthy yet superficial and neglecting parents. Constantly humiliated by his parents, Roman burned down the family mansion, killing them. He then took over the cosmetics company of the family. After an untested product disfigured multiple women, Roman lost the business and was sentenced to prison. While visiting the grave of his parents, he was struck by lightning, which he saw as a sign to start a new life. Thus, he carved himself a skull-like mask with pieces of his father's casket and became the supervillain Black Mask. Black Mask is a brilliant strategist and impressive fighter. In addition to that, he is also an excellent marksman, master of disguise and torturer. Since he has a lot of contact to the criminal underworld of Gotham City, it is no coincidence that he encountered the Sirens. What do you think of the Gotham City Sirens? Who would you like to see portraying these iconic roles? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to learn more about the villains of the upcoming Aquaman and Shazam movies, then check out these videos.